In ossification, there's a type of ossification known as the intramembranous ossification. And this intramembranous ossification is like, let me say, a bone is forming without coming from a cartilage. Do you understand? So there are some steps that actually summarize the process of what? Intramembranous ossification. It's a complex process though. But once you talk about these five steps, it's like you have spoken about everything that has to do with what intramembranous ossification. So the full question was list and briefly comment on the five steps that summarize intramembranous ossification. So you could get to see that intramembranous ossification, ossification is taking place and unlike when you must have cartilages becoming bones, right? Like you have some, some bones originating from cartilages. This intramembranous ossification, bones just arise directly from what? Mesenchymal cells. Do you understand? There's no cartilage in between. That's what is intramembranous. Oh, so we'll define it then get to look at the five steps that actually define the process of intramembranous ossification. We see that intramembranous ossification is a process by which bones form from mesenchymal tissue without a cartilage what template. Okay. So these are the steps. Step one is mesenchymal condensation. Step two is what cell proliferation and differentiation. Step three is what matrix deposition. Step four is bone mineralization. Step five is what? Remodeling and maturation. All right? So it's not that you go and start saying step one, step two. No. Each of the steps has a name which you must know. Do you understand? All right? So step one is mesenchymal condensation. We say that mesenchymal cells aggregate and condense in the region where the bone will form. Cells will express specific genes like the RONX2 or the OXX, OXX to initiate osteogenic differentiation. All right? So mesenchymal cells just accumulate where the bone is supposed to form. Do you understand? All right. Then moving to the next one is cell proliferation and differentiation. The mesenchymal cells that have accumulated now will start growing and will start specializing to become osteoblasts, which are basically what? The primitive bone cells, all right? The osteoblasts will produce bone matrix components such as what? Collagen, osteocalcin just to increase the strength and maturity and all that. Stage three is what? Matrix deposition. Let me see if I got it here. Matrix deposition. Well, well, well. Mm, not label, but you know that definitely there will be deposition of matrix, right? Okay. So osteoblast secretes bone matrix, which mineralize to form woven bone. All right. So bone matrix consists of what? Organic or collagen or collagen or inorganic that's hydroxyapatite components, all right? Then bone mineralization is when the hydroxyapatite crystals deposit onto the organic matrix, forming a mineralized what bone tissue, right? So osteoblasts continue to produce matrix and regulate mineralization, all right? Step five: bone remodeling and maturity. This one is when osteoclasts, these are bone resolving cells and osteoblasts, they interact to remodel and refine the bone structure. All right? Compact bones replace the woven bone. All right? So it becomes a stronger type of bone now. All right? Compact bones replace the woven bone and the bone tissue matures to its final form. All right? So those are the five steps that define what intramembranous ossification right so that's it guys and bye for now